Hello. Today's lab is going to be on translating these Numia GPGGA coordinate strings into uh, Google Maps 2D and 3D plots. To do this, we have this neat little Python code to do it for us. Uh, we're going to be impl uh, importing these four libraries, the most important of which are the math library and the high level file operation library. Once we've imported those, we're going to define this little function here. It's pretty simple. It basically finds all instances of characters in a string. Nothing too complicated. Once we have that defined, we're going to begin with importing our GPS data. To do that, we're going to run the open function on gps.txt, which is this file here. We're going to be essentially reading each line and for use in our Python code. We're going to read that, split them according to the new line character, and we're going to close that file. Then we're going to declare this little array called Earth Map Data, which is essentially where we're going to be dumping in our latitude, longitude, and altitude. So with that, we can begin processing the strings into usable coordinates. We're going to start by taking our GPGGA strings and reading them, separating them out using commas and basically their location in the string. We're going to declare them as floats, which is essentially doubles in Python as well. We're going to find them using this little code here. Then we're going to process them, which is basically divide by 100 and round it down using the floor function of the math library. And that's going to be our first coordinate. Then we're going to do similar processing with the longitude. We're going to have them again as float or double. Then we're going to divide by 100. And then we're going to multiply by negative 1 to make sure that we're in the right hemisphere. Then we're going to round up using the ceiling function from the math library. And that's going to be our second coordinate. Altitude doesn't require as much processing. We're essentially turning it into a double from a string and then just reading it, and that'll be it. Once we have our latitude, longitude, and altitude for a certain string, we're gonna go ahead and append that to our array. And that's basically, we're gonna loop that over the entire document, and that's basically gonna be our coordinates from that document. Once we were finished with processing, we're going to move on to creating the actual KML and HTML files. We're going to start with the Google Earth KML files. The first thing we have to do is we're going to copy this header.txt file, which is this file here. It's essentially the beginning, everything before the coordinates in a Google Earth file. And that's what we're going to be starting with. We're going to be working with that in our Python code. So once we've opened that file, we're going to go ahead and append our latitude, longitude, altitude coordinates from, from our earth map data array. That's what this for loop here does. Once we've appended all of our coordinates, we're going to go ahead and print a footer into the file to essentially close out the KML document. Then we're gonna we're gonna actually close the document. So your final file should look something like this. Essentially you have the header written in first, then you append all of our coordinates. The order of course is longitude, latitude, altitude. And at the end you have the footer which is defined here this bit right here. So that basically concludes writing to the Google Earth KML file. Next we're going to be writing to a two-dimensional Google Maps file which is a bit more complicated. So to do this we're going to go ahead and copy our Google Maps header.txt file which is this bit here. Same business as the Google Earth file essentially all of the HTML and like declarations that 
initialize the document, everything up to pin declarations and drawing the line should be in the header file. So once we have that, we're going to convert our latitude and longitude values from the array into strings so that we can append it to this bit here. This essentially tells Google Maps to basically treat this as part of a line. So once we have that, we're going to insert our latitude and our longitude, uh, separate those with a comma and parentheses, and then another comma. Once we have that, we're going to open the creatively named Python 2D map file. And in that file, we're going to go ahead and write the write the pins first. So essentially, this is going to mark where it begins with a green pin and where it ends with a red pin. And that's essentially taking the first and last values from the GPS file and basically printing those as a pin. Once we have the pins done, we're going to write var my coordinates, which will essentially tell Google Maps that we want to start drawing the line now. And then we're going to use these for loops to write the coordinates that we find above these strings right here. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and just append our footer and just close out the HTML document. Once we have that, the final file should look something like this. You have the header, which you imported and written. And then you have the pins, both green and red, written as well. And then var my coordinates, as we discussed, and all of our coordinate strings that we had, all the way down to the footer right here that we appended using this code right here. Then we're going to go ahead and close out that map file and you should be done. So let's see how that looks. So we have the Python 2D map file here. It's an HTML file, fairly big. And plotting it in Google Maps, you choose, it looks like this. And you have basically the green pin, the red pin, and the line. And if you had Google Earth and did the same thing with the 3D map file, you'd get pretty similar results just with Altitude Plot as well. And that concludes the lab. Thank you.